Hello everyone. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning. This is Esther here for Elizabeth Craft Designs. And I am just checking um, to see if I can find the video on our uh, Facebook page. So please bear with me for a second. And so I will be waiting here for you to join us or join me. And let's see if I can find something over here. No, it's not working yet. So hold on for a minute, please. <clears throat> I'm sorry, girls. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's something is going wrong over here. Ah, I think, yes, okay, we're in. Hi everyone, good to see you. I see a lot of people coming in already, welcome. And as you can see, I've got my planner um, over here so you can see what I did last week. And now I also have to see if I can find the comments to welcome you. Yes, I see some people coming in. So, welcome to Yorinka, Gaby, Michelle from the UK. Hi, Michelle. Robin from Ohio. Scotland is Janice, England, Jeanette. Anneke from Holland. Anneke is from Amsterdam. A special welcome to Anneke. <laughs> Sorry, Anneke, I had to say it. Uh, Marlies, <laughs> Caroline. Hi, nice to see you, Caroline. <coughs> I hope you're all well. Hi Terry from Florida. Hi Linda, Goni, Marijke. Oh my, you are with so many already. Juanita, Claudia, Saakje. Hi Saakje, also from Amsterdam. Marijke, Goni, Antoinette. Well, it's good to see you all here. You are too many people here, so I can't mention you all, but I'm happy you're here. I'm here instead of else tonight uh, or this afternoon, it depends on where you are, of course. Uh, Else is out camping with her grandchildren, so uh, I had the honors to um, do this Facebook Live for you today. And I am going to work with the uh, Planner Essential set with the frames. I am going to show it to you. It's this one over here. Uh, it has three uh, Instagram shaped frames, so you can add pictures uh, or other embellishments over there. So this is the one I'm going to work with. Um, and I am also using, wait, I'm going to show it to you first. So it's this set. It is a double set. Uh, one has got the frames like this. I'm going to show it to you. And the other side is the solid one. So you can glue it behind or in between two of those other layers. Uh, the set also had so, has some uh, sentiments. Uh, a nice wine bottle with a label, some photo corners, uh, chevron dice. This is some kind of uh, decorative element, more photo corners, and also a very cute photo strip, um, like a film strip, but then a small one. And this one, uh, when you cut it with your die cutting machine, it goes exactly on, uh, the. it's the same width as a normal page. So. It's really nice if you add it like this and maybe put some um, letters in it or some text, some short words or whatever you want. I think it's somewhere here too. Oh yeah, yes, I used it over here too. But you can do so many things with this small one. So this is a really cute set to use and I'm going to combine it with uh, two of those elements. It's from the film strip set and i'm going to use these two um, in combination with <coughs> these uh, these dies so that's my plan for today i'm also using some stamps of course and in the meantime i'm also trying to uh, chat with you guys over here and <laughs> i hope this works and that i can keep up so uh, let me check again the comments to see who else joined us hi wendy dorothy lisbeth 
Uh, hi Esther, Klein Sprite, no, oh, Anja Kromberg, Barb, new dice, no, those dice are not new, they're from one of our previous uh, releases, hi Kim, Irene, oh, now I see a very difficult name from the Czech Republic, Slatka, hi Slatka, nice to see you too, and Desiree, yeah, thank you Desiree, Anita, Andrea from Wales, Oh, my Schiedam Holland, my Griet, Apeldoorn, the Netherlands. Well, that's a really international uh, evening or afternoon uh, today. So, okay, let me show you first. Uh, these pages I was working on uh, the other day, the last time I was doing a Facebook Live. And this was with the fold-out thing. So I think I've showed those before, because here I also used uh, the photo frame um, for journaling. And oh, now I'm in doubt. Now I'm showing this to you. I think I posted it on Facebook. So I'm not sure if I showed it to you on uh, on a Facebook Live. So this is the month of May, week 19. I like to work in weeks. And I, also, I always use um, one of those stamps, which says week. And then I'm using it in combination with the large numbers. So these are a little bit smaller than these. So... It's uh, well, it depends on how many uh, space I've got left, um, which size I'm using. So, this was my week 19, uh, and it was all about um, uh, the, the 4th and 5th of May in Holland. And on May 4th, we have um, oh my how I'm going to say this in English, Dode Herdenking. Okay, girls, help me out. Um, well, here we remember the end of the war, 75 years ago, and on May 5th, it's, um, well, the Bevrijdingsdag. Okay, you understand what I'm saying, okay? <laughs> uh, so I used the film strip for journaling, I added some red, white and blue because of the Dutch flag uh, to embellish, um, and then here's our little granddaughter again. And here, because of the, the coronavirus, we also um, are remodeling our home. Well, not really remodeling, but a lot of painting, wallpapering, wall coverings, etc. So those are here. Uh, our granddaughter, our, the oldest one, and I combined it with the stems of Charlene and Ilse, which I really like. You can cut those. And I understood they also have um, dice to cut the letters. So they are really cool. Um, here I did um, uh, a page about Edinburgh, uh, where we're supposed to go um, in May, but of course that one was cancelled too. But because I like the pictures so much, I added them. And now I'm going to show you um, the, another week with the, the photo frame template. And in the meantime, I'm trying to catch up, uh, no catch up, but catching up with the um, the comments uh, in the group, so on the page. So, oh yeah, Remembrance Day. Thanks, Angelique. <laughs> Red, white and blue stripe is washi tape. No, it's washi tape. Yes, I am going to show it to you. What I do very often to make it uh, a little bit more, and there's that word again, cohesive or balanced, is taking uh, some washi tape. This is, for example, uh, the red, white, white and blue. And I just glue it down on some edges of pages. So as you can see here, I used it a couple of times and you can do that with any washi tape you have, of course. So if you like black and white, just uh, add some washi tape to the pages in black and white. Do you like more colors? Uh, take bright colors. But because of this, the use of the same uh, washi tape, I'm trying to show it to you on this side too. Um, yeah, it's more balanced. That's what I think. So, but it's all up to you if you would like to do this too, of course. And here, because I also had an old uh, vintage airmail envelope, I also added that one to make it more balanced or cohesive. So, yes, this is washi tape. Um, <clears throat> and let me see. Maria from London is also there. Hi, Maria. Nice to see you. Oh, Edinburgh, yes, I wish we could go there, but we have to wait and see uh, when we're all able to travel. I think we're all stuck a little bit, but it's not really that uh, bad to stay at home. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so now to the next page. Um, <clears throat> the film strip, no, sorry, the photo frame that I said. Um, what you normally do, can do with this one, is use the photo frames and then... Um, 
use it with in combination with pictures. That's what I did here. It was the first birthday of our youngest granddaughter and she is so cute. <laughs> Sorry, but I had to say it. Um, so that's what I did. I normally don't use pink colors or hardly use them, especially not in my own planner. I'm also working on a, a project life book for her. And of course there will be much more pink in it than in my journal over here. But okay, I was thinking, let's do a bit uh, out of your comfort zone. <laughs> Hi Anneke, nice to see you again. 140 people joining us, that's great. <laughs> so there's a little bit pink in here. And I must say, I like it. I, um, yeah, I tore some, some pieces of paper, I used a lot of uh, stamping because I like um, to work with the stamps, use the stamps because it's just a finishing touch for me uh, after I've been uh, adding some pictures and other elements. So here's one of the other uh, small dies from one of the sets, the little paper clip. And here I cheated a little bit because I think, if I remember well, this is one of the dies from Tim Holtz. Uh, this is one of our stamps too. Well, a lovely cake, of course. And over here I did some more pictures and I still used a little bit of pink because, well, I was thinking now it's pink and I can do a little bit more. Uh, well, over here, um, here you see me. This is a picture I did uh, in... Um, how do you call it, in an app, it's going to be okay. This was me a year ago uh, while uh, undergoing chemo treatments. And this is now a year later. And here over here, our granddaughter daughter was just born. So she was. it was the first day she was at home. And here she is a year already. So everything is going to be okay. So I thought that was a good one to put in my journal. Uh, over here, uh, this is with Kobe. I'm, I'm not sure if Kobe is watching, but we had to make a picture uh, for one of our friends who is also having uh, a rough time at the moment. So we printed out some words, girl power, and I used one of our stamps, which is saying 100%. And it's from this set, from the, the, the latest release. And I was thinking, okay, this is good. 100% girl power to support her. Uh, I finally did a selfie again, so of course I had to use this sentiment. And over here you can see uh, our new wall covering. It's um, photo paper and you can put it on the wall and it's a big, very big print or a large print. Um, from New York, Manhattan, many, many, many moons ago. So it's an old one. Uh, and I see... Is there someone in at the cinema and now watching us? That's cool. <laughs> yes, Jona, thanks for the yes, it's for, so nice to see the pictures now a year later and how much she has grown. And luckily my hair grew faster than hers because she is still very short hair. Uh, here I just made a pocket with a, a piece of paper, by the way, and put in some text with some more journaling, a little bit more private, so I don't want that uh, to be seen by everyone. And this is uh, what I did with the photo frame. What I was thinking now, I wanted to do something else with this photo frame. So that's why I'm going to show you now, and I am planning on using that one. Um, I'm going to show you this one later, or maybe next time when we do a live. Uh, I'm going to put this one, which I'm going to make now, it's going to be in here. And I must say, I didn't do this before, so I hope it's all going to work out what I've got in mind. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So, um, let me see. For the photo frame set, you have to cut the photo frames twice. And for this one, I don't need the solid one. So cut the frame twice. And what I did uh, already, because I don't want you to um, wait for me while I have to uh, put down all those bits and pieces of, um, um, sorry, <laughs> my brain sometimes, uh, forgive, forgive me. How is it called? Oh, this is really bad, girls. I'm sorry. The, the double-sided adhesive. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> oh, my. Okay, thank you very much, Yurenka. I think the comments are a little bit behind. I see Kobe is also there. Hi, Kobe. Good to see you. Marion is also there. Okay, so cut the frame twice and make uh, put down all the double-sided adhesive on every 
piece uh, which is uh, which needs okay so what my intention is is i am going to use those cellophane bags again to make pockets i already glued one down over here and that went out uh, okay so i'm going to show you how to do the second one and my cellophane bags are too big so uh, it doesn't matter because you can cut them and trim them down and then it's the correct size so uh, let me think Yes, I did this one uh, on Saturday already, so I have to think a little bit. So, as you can see here, I uh, put down some double-sided adhesive and I'm going to remove that now. Uh, so I can attach the cellophane back. Cellophane, cellophane back. Let me see if I can get the tape off. Yes. And there's another one here. And then I am going to glue it down and trim it down so it fits uh, perfectly. Let me see if this is correct because I'm going to put this one over here. Yes. So I was thinking of this uh, Saturday afternoon and I immediately um, have to do it because otherwise I would forget about it. And as you can see now, it's stuck on one side of the frame and I'm going to trim it down so it has exactly the same size. And also over here. And of course, it's not closed now anymore. I know, <laughs> as you can see this. And I need to apply a, a new a layer of double-sided adhesive over here. So it will um, stuck down again. I hope that sense to all of you. And I am taking some tape and I'm putting it in between the two layers of the plastic cellophane bag. So like this, removing the backing paper. Yeah, I think you can all see it. Oh, Anneke, thank you. Yeah, it's a good idea. I hope it works <laughs> because I haven't um, finished one page like this um, previously. So it's a little bit... Um, yeah, just try it. If it's not working, uh, we will see. Okay, so now you can see I've got one bag over here, one bag over here, and I'm go. I want to fill this um, frame with something else because if you are going to apply another plastic bag or a cellophane bag over here, I don't like the way it looks over here. So what I've been thinking, I trimmed or uh, I cut uh, a piece of paper which is slightly bigger then the inside of the frame so as you can see it goes over here so hopefully this works and then when you cover it up with this one it's going to look like this and i'm going to fill this one up later so i hope it's going to work and as i see now i had to have to apply a little bit more double-sided adhesive over here because i want this to stuck uh, stick down over here so I'm going to use a little bit more of this tape and this three millimeter um, double-sided adhesive exactly goes on the edges over here so that's really cool uh, and easy to use that's what's also important of course that it's easy to use and a little piece over here to give it some extra strength and now I am going to remove these again. So hopefully this is all going to work out fine. And there's more tape and one more here. Okay, so, and it doesn't matter that there's nothing written on it because I'm going to cover this up. You will see it in a minute. Uh, yeah, is this okay? Yes, this is okay. Uh, for the people who want to know this in millimeters, I don't have the sizes in inches here, sorry for that. Uh, it's 6.6 .6 by 8.2 millimeters, the piece I cut over here. So this is going to be on this side, yes, that's correct. And now I have to make sure, you see, I've got this all covered with double-sided adhesive too. And now I need to make sure it's going to line out perfectly on top of the other one. And now I see a little bit of yellow paper over here, so I need to trim that down before I'm going to uh, glue them together. Yes, that's 
not so smart you see <laughs> I could have known that before so this size 8.2 millimeter make it a little bit uh, shorter if you want to do this okay I'm trimming this down now so it won't show up at this little opening over here at the small opening and let me see in the meantime I'm going to check the comments first hold on who is there everybody Liana, nice to see you. Hi, Claire. Oh, I met Claire the other day in Amsterdam in the in the posthumous shop, and I didn't recognize her because uh, I own I see so many pictures on uh, on Facebook of people, and she was in the shop <laughs> and uh, playing around a basket. So I thought she was a customer. <laughs> it was funny, but in the end, I I knew who she was. Hi, Rick. She's also there. Oh, Marjolein. Hi. Nice to see you too. Yeah, brain fog. <laughs> yes, Yona. <laughs> That's really a brain fog. They also call it a chemo brain. That's not so nice, maybe. But Okay, I think uh, I've got my pockets here. And as you still can see, there's an opening on this side. You see? And this one, I hope, yeah, it's open too. So I'm still on the right uh, track. And now I need to make sure this is going to be on top of this one. So... I am going to remove all those bits of backing paper. <laughs> Hi, Marjolein. <laughs> and there's somebody not at home. How are you all doing? And are there people out there who are going on a holiday somehow? I mean, I prefer to stay at home, to be honest. <laughs> uh, I don't want to take any risks. Um, and being in the middle of uh, crowds with people and things like that. So I'm a little bit careful, but I wonder what you all are going to do. If you are planning a vacation in your own country, nearby, or are you going um, out for a few days? Like, like uh, how do you say it? A city trip maybe, or just uh, a day out to uh, an amusement park or something like that. Is the there's a stance this stance Yvonne this one is for the great uh, the big one yeah for the planner essential set this is not um, for the small one rainy stays at home yeah me too rainy <laughs> it's better safe than sorry that's what I'm thinking but <laughs> I see a, little, a lot of people traveling so uh, yeah Annika yes you are also very careful you are right Annika I know Annika also had corona already so she has been in the hospital and luckily uh, she is uh, at home again. Staying at home. Oh, a, a hurricane. That's not good, Susan. Yona had a week away. Lots of guests in our Airbnb. Oh, that's good. Yes. Oh, de, yeah. oh dagje Efteling. How do you think it's going to go at the Efteling? We are planning on going to Maduro Dam on Saturday, but it's going to be very hot, very warm. So I think we cancel it. And I know uh, it's also crowded over there, but I read on the website that they only uh, let in one third of the normal visitors. So I hopefully that's a little bit safe. In the meantime, I hope you can see what I'm doing. Um, I will put it a little bit uh, more into sight. Oostenrijk, bleef Femke kokken op dezelfde. Ha, ah, Monique, that's funny. Okay, so um, I'm gluing those two together. As you can see now, and they are quite good on top of each other, I see. Maybe this one is a little bit off-center, yes. It's here now. Okay, well, that worked out quite nice, I must say. Okay, this is good, this is good. I'm going to cover this one up. So, okay, as you can see now, I've got a double frame. And this is a pocket now. I hope you can see it. Two weeks off, Kim. Oh, that's good. As you can see, I've got two pockets. Now I have to cover this up. Um, when you cut this with your die cutting machine, those pieces fall out. So you can use them to put them back in again. And I think it's nice to use the other side here. So there's a little bit um, difference in color. And now I think I did something wrong because it doesn't fit exactly. The way I want it to be. Oh yeah, yes, it's going to be okay. So this one I'm going to do like this. So the dark side up, uh, while this is a little bit more um, light, lighter, a lighter color. So I am going to do that with a little bit of glue. But of course you can also use uh, 
double-sided adhesive to do this. And let me see, the Efteling was good. Oh, okay, that's good to hear. I thought it was a little bit crazy over there too. And for the people outside of Holland, we are talking about amusement parks. So the Efteling is a big uh, fairy tale. Uh, yeah, do you say park? Yes, I think so. And uh, Maduro Dam is something near The Hague in Holland. And it's uh, an amusement park where everything uh, is very small. So the children can watch. Uh, it's all miniature. Mini miniature. Yeah. So you have castles, uh, airplanes. The airport all is miniature over there. So that's really cool to go to. Uh, you are going to Belgium, Angelique. That's nice too. If you can go there <laughs> and let me see so i'm going to turn this one the other way around so this will be the lighter one inside of the frame instead of the darker one so it's a little bit different okay so now i want to see how this looks in my planner of course and i need to make something inside here well, this is going to be a little bit too busy with the background with envelopes so maybe it's better to <laughs> it's all busy in my planner as you know okay i'm going to put it here yeah so that's the best thing to show to you oh i think it looks quite nice well um of course you need to decorate this you can do some journaling here you can put a picture over here uh, that's all up to you but it's nice to slide something in those pockets so what i was thinking you can use a tag of course but i found out that the two frames from the um, film strip set from this set these two fit in and then you have this cute tab on the side so what i did was uh, cut a piece of paper no i cut the frame first sorry and here I've got another example. This is the frame in a uh, some leftover piece of paper. And I just glued it down on uh, another piece I got left. And then trim it down. Exactly, uh, yeah, right. So as close as possible to the edges. So as you can see, like this. And then you can slide it in. And then you've got this really cute tap, tap here on the side. Hot days, thank you. Oh, you already prepared this one. Hi, Anna. Nice to see you too. Yeah, I I, I cut the the photo frames and I made a pocket out of it. If you want to see it, Anna, uh, yeah, you can uh, look at the rewind or watch it back. So what you can do is put those uh, in here. You can do some journaling on this too. You can put pictures in there, and I'm going to use this one here. And it slides in and that's why you don't want um, this to be open because it doesn't look really nice when you see the other one also yet. that's what i'm thinking if you want to make three pockets you can do that too and what's also nice when you use the second photo frame and where is it because i already pre-cut one yeah one like this you can also put this one inside of the bigger one so then you've got a little photo frame which you can also put a picture in or do some journaling and you have the tab over here too so then it looks a little bit different but also really nice i think so um let me check it's been half an hour now i think yes so i won't take up too much of your time i think i always think that half an hour doing a facebook live for me is uh is enough <laughs> um but i'm going to check some of your comments and i will finish this one uh, later this week and i will show the, you the results uh, in one of the in my next uh, facebook live so you can see uh, what i did with it and i will also post pictures in the facebook groups of course and maybe if you are going to make one yourself i would love to see it too of course so let me check the comments Yorinka, she loves it Anneke, you don't have to die. Oh gosh, shame on you. But I see your mother has got it, so you can go to her home. <laughs> oh, Monique, thank you. Nice. Jurinka, thank you very much. Ans, hi, nice. Nice to see you too. Oh, you have po both of the dice, Karen? That's great. So you can do it too. 
uh, Marjolein says she lives in the uh, Tilburg at the harbor. So that's mo uh, at the moment one of the most visited places when it's warm. So it's not Corona proof. Don't go there, Marjolein. It's so clever. What an inspiration. Ah, thank you. That's really nice of you, Carla. Yolanda, Juanita. Ah, oh, thank you very much, Juanita. Juanita, sorry. Julie, a beetje laat. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so I'm sure you can come up with all uh, uh, other ideas too. Maybe you can also use, I'm, I'm just thinking, the, um, what's it called? Um, the thicker cellophane. Uh, chut, 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 chut. Help me. I've got it here. Then those transparent sheet with sheets with um, with prints on it. Oh my gosh! I'm sorry, girls. <laughs> my brains are not that bad, uh, not that good. <laughs> yes, it's a nice idea. I would love to see uh, what you are doing um, with this die. Oh, you mean the film script die? Which one do you mean, Annika? I have no idea. Anz is also going to make it. Great idea. The pockets. Watch head. Hi Karen from Texas, nice to see you. <laughs> oh yeah, Tracy, you have to buy this one. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> it's so terrible if we have to buy things, you know, we don't like that. And Claire, you don't have this one, Claire. Oh, shame on you. <laughs> uh, half an hour, oh, Mika, yeah, acetate. Yeah, that's what I mean, Mika, acetate. You've got that printed one too. Let me see if I've got something here. Um, no, no, sorry, I don't see, but you know what I mean. I saw the words mica and acetate, so, but uh, because of mica and acetate, it's a little bit thicker and you have to glue it down twice. So that's what I was thinking about those cellophane bags, which you can get, they are really cheap and you can find them probably everywhere or at your local uh, craft shop. Uh, Fellum is also maybe possible, why not? But um, yeah, okay, that's what I was uh, wanted to show it to you. Uh, I hope you liked it. It stays on with acetate, yes. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Carolyn. Pet, a oh, lovely start. What do you, I like your pockets to put. Oh, yeah, you can put small photos in. Film is not doorzichtig. No, that's true. Card bags, yeah, they, these are really small card bags, cellophane bags, but if you have the larger one, it doesn't matter. You can uh, watch back the video, just glue it down on the frame and then trim it down so it's the correct size. You can see it in the video. I just showed it uh, uh, about 10 minutes ago, I think. So, okay, girls, I am going to leave you now. Um, I am not sure when the next Facebook Live will be on Elizabeth Craft Designs. Uh, Joseph, oh, you're welcome, Joseph. It was nice to see you. Uh, but I think probably it will be Wednesday or Friday or maybe both days. Uh, but I'm sure they will put up um, a schedule on the website. Yeah, you can use the... Oh, that's a good idea, Maya Lang. Yes, yes, yes. You know, those bags where the stamps are in. You can use those too. If you, if you take this one down, if you don't have the cellophane bags. Oh, Marjolaine, <laughs> yes, yeah, you can use those. Just uh, glue them in the corner like this. Uh, make sure this one uh, is not going to stick down uh, to each other. You have to glue it down on the paper side of the photo frame, but not. don't close it because otherwise you can't put anything in it. Okay, well, uh, it's been nice seeing you all over here and I hope to see you soon again on uh, the Facebook page, okay? Have a nice day if you are in um, in the US. Uh, a nice evening if you are in this side of, uh, in the, on this side of the ocean and uh, it's evening already. Okay, people, uh, it was lovely to be here again and bye-bye uh, for now, see you soon.